right guys, so what's going on? Busy as they said, it's uh, half past seven, Tuesday night. I've only just got in the door. It's been a mad busy one. I know from the, the video last week or this week or whenever I put this out, I don't know. If you can say, say I thought I had some issues. Well actually the night I posted that video, I was watching the fish again for another hour or so and I couldn't take it anymore. I ended up holding up my shear up and um, doing a scrape on her because if she's not eating, which she wasn't, then there's something wrong. Uh, I did fold up one fish, did one scrape and straight away I noticed it was fluke. So thinking that I had plenty of fluke sold in because <clears throat> I had it last year. I set about treating for that um, that night. And I only had 90% really of one treatment. So I'll post you up some footage of the, the bold shero and that and, and, um, and show you what I've done. I ordered some more flick salt straight away, which should actually be here tomorrow, ready for my second treatment, just to kill off any eggs. But it's caused a, caused a bit of a disaster. But I'll pop up the footage of. Um, of where I was that night anyway, and I'll do that now. So anyway, back in here, I've got uh, plenty of work now to do before I eat. As I said, it was, it was half seven when I started. I've got plenty of work to do in here, and that's because the good old man Chris over at Koi Masters said he had that many fry, he was struggling to cook with them. I was wondering would I, would I want any more to put in here. Oh look at you guys getting cheeky. You got, I've got some fish in here that are absolutely ravenous all the time. They're 22 degrees and, and feeding all the time, really eating well. Water quality is great in here now. I mean, the shore must be really kicking in. I'm going to get, um, which is a bit unfortunate because I wanted to move these fish back into the main pond, the ones that I'm keeping. I'm going to give some away. Um, really only one that I'm, there's probably two in here I'll keep and the rest I'll give away. Uh, but I can't move them back into the main pond now, I have blue. I definitely have no issues in here. <coughs> so I'm going to have to put these guys in a floating net for a while until I sort the float problem out in the main pond. I've actually got a lovely Kajaki over in Chris's as well, which I want to, to pick up, obviously can't, because of the float. <clears throat> but the reason I'm going to have to net these up is I'm going to have to put a net in here as if just been over and I uh, collected another couple of thousand for it which is going to set my work out for me so I'll go on and do some work in here keep you posted guys cheers no it may not look like uh, a lot of fry As they're so small, but there will be thousands in here, and there's a substantial amount of black ones, and these are from a seriously high grade 
Ginrin show a spawner that uh, Chris at Koi Masters has done himself. So I'm gonna go and prepare this grow on for them and then get them in. So yeah, what what I will say is that obviously because Chris has so many, the feeding's a little bit different to what's going on in my tank. And the ones in my tank are substantially larger. So I'm just hoping they're not at the stage where they're starting to eat each other. And I would like to to empty the tank, obviously, into this into the net to stay alongside these. And hopefully in the future I'll have some serious selection to do and I'll get another net and I'll probably split the blacks from the whites, the large, from the split the tobies out. And, but that's providing I can keep them alive. And that's that's the first battle, so I'll crack on and get this tank set up. So it was a waste of time netting the other ones up because this net doesn't actually go down that far. So I thought I'd just leave them loose in the tank. So here we are with some of the fry. Alright guys, it's half nine. I'm still out here. Still bodging, still worthy. Pulled out the airline, took away the top that was here that fed the bottom drain. Put a T-piece on here, two taps. One for the bottom drain and one that runs along behind the shore. Along the back of the pond. And then feeds into this manifold. Which feeds three air stones as you can see in there just having a look at some of these fry plenty in there um, I put a couple of stones in the bottom to weight the net down there's also an air stone in this corner that won't be switched on because if you switch them on next to the net the fry get trapped up in it and all stuck to the side of the net out of the water so I'll, uh, Flick the airline on, slow down the air probably on these stones. So, still got the other fishies in there. Fishies, I can to sound like Adam Julian. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Anyway, I'll uh, open up the air here. Go back and have a look at this. So yeah, I suppose I'm gonna have to up my uh, brine shrimp game. So here we are, guys. Wednesday night, two nights after uh, treating for the fluke. I only had 90% of a single dose in, so I had to order more. Which is uh, that's arrived. Come pretty much next day as promised. I ordered this uh, little box of fry food from them as well, just to make the order up to over fifty quid. Really, it was forty-eight for the fluke solving. Thought I may as well get this fry food, considering the amount of fry that I have. But I've had absolutely since I put the treatment in the next day, completely different fish. They were up greeting me in the morning. No flashing, no flicking, no attitude, no antisocial behaviour. And everyone's eating well, so... I'll uh, treat it again and probably Sunday. I'll give another treatment and I think that'll be it. I won't bother doing another scrape to check, I'll just monitor the fish's behaviour if there's any anything untoward that I don't like I'll get one out and, and scrape so yeah happy days I know what I'm fighting hopefully these couple of treatments will get me on top of it thanks guys pushing on for uh, that thousand subscribers I think it was 983 today 
which is blooming great, unbelievable. I'll have to start thinking about something to give away. Not, no doubt I'll come up with a prize there for a thousand subscribers and we'll uh, get something to keep you guys interested. So anyway, eventful week. It's only Wednesday, it's not over yet. So <laughs> thanks for watching guys. Cheers.